everyone welcome back to friday crypto my name is chase today we're gonna look at bitcoin i know it's been a hot minute but better than a hot minute than a hot two minutes i don't know what that means but we're gonna dive right in uh what do we have we're gonna look at the daily chart today we're gonna look at the weekly chart and we're gonna look at the five day gaussian channel we're gonna compare uh what's going on now and maybe look at something that's happened before and could be in uh uh, maybe should be on the radar and probably on zero people's radar. So we're going to take a look at the big picture. That's what we like to do. So uh, moving up, what do we do? We had a fall down outside of the Bollinger Bands back on April 11th. Uh, now we're kind of just basically trending sideways. We're trying to move up here after the nice little spring wick right here. See this? This is a bullish sign. Uh, the bulls are stepping in as prices are dropping, buying everything up. And this red line right here is the EMA 8. The exponential moving average on the 8. So no matter what chart you look at. So this is the daily chart. The EMA 8 would be the 8 day EMA. If you look at it on the weekly. It's the 8 week EMA. Which we're going to look at shortly. So we're trying to get up above these moving averages. This is a great sign so far. So far. Right? Asterisk. So far. Uh, that you know we, we've broken above the EMA 8. When the next step is the EMA 21. The 21 day EMA. Right here. Uh, just shy of 42k. 42k is another big level. It's not just that EMA 8, right? It's our previous kind of local tops back here set on March. Uh, we revisited again uh, late March. And, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of also right at that kind of local support zone. You can see this kind of loosely being kind of a support resistance level, right? Resistance, resistance, broke through, come back, support, 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 break that. And at the same time, we're underneath our EMA 8. And we consolidate sideways. Now we're trying to make another bullish move back up. However, we have some serious roadblocks. One, the support and resistance zone, the yellow line here. Two, the other yellow line, the two yellow fellas, okay? The 21-day EMA uh, we have are also, the, not to be ignored, uh, the Bollinger Bands, the median on the Bollinger Bands, just shy of 43K. 42.5, 42.6, well, depends on when we hit it. If we hit it tomorrow, be a little bit lower. See, it's trending a little bit lower. So we want to watch those levels. If somehow on the daily chart, we can manage to break through all the red tape, uh, all these rainbow lines, then we could start to see some clearer skies. Okay, but we have some other big obstacles we need to zoom out on, right? This, we flip this support uh, as support, right? Then we got to zoom out, right? Then it's our kind of 44.5 area, right? These three local peaks. That's what we want to be watching for next. Uh, the bull trap so far uh, has, has worked out pretty well so we'll we we'll remain to see if this was a fake out down and a fake out up right a fake out up get everybody trapped and excited and then come down and get everybody scared again and then just kidding we're going to go back up again we don't know if that's going to happen yet uh if we start flipping this line again then yeah you could give another uh you know step towards the bullish side however until we do that you need to be remain cautiously optimistic and uh high alert okay so and what do i mean by that well let's go uh remove this line and let's go to the weekly candle the weekly charts right weekly candles now now notice the bollinger bands getting tighter the tightest the bollinger bands have been since 2020 let that ring a bell let that sink in a little bit okay we haven't been this compact on the bollinger bands in you know 18 months okay so let's realize that that's a significant thing uh so what does that mean i'm glad you asked that means a big move is coming does that mean in the next four minutes four days four months probably the latter probably probably it could get up in next week it could take several months right these are weekly candles notice how long this took for go from uh why right we're looking at february right here right that took some time to compact these right so the tighter these get, the larger the move is coming. Remember way back here? Look how tight these are for a long time. And just because you go tight doesn't mean you have to immediately explode again, right? So we want to watch this, uh, you know, over the next several weeks, right? We'll keep you updated. But more importantly, uh, so that's a big move is coming. That should be in the back of your brain. So which side are we going to go? Well, if we want to break to the upside, we need to be closing above uh, the median Bollinger Band uh, line here, right here. Uh, this is also the 20 week uh, SMA, if you didn't know. Uh, so that is right now about 42.5, that same level. You can't make this stuff up. All these levels are kind of coinciding. At the same time, you might notice all this uh, Skittles rainbow here. Those are all our moving averages. When all your moving averages are right at the same level, that's going to be 
difficult to break through, you know, with, you know, conviction. We tried back here, but, you know, maybe about like a rubber band and just flung us back down. That's, that's some difficult work to put in, right? We tried one week, two week, three week, four week, five weeks. Look at all these wicks. That's bearish pressure pushing down on you. That's people selling off these rallies, right? So we need to retake the EMA-8. And you might notice we've wicked uh, as of today. We, today we did this. We wicked right off of the EMA-8, right? That's, that's, uh, <laughs> that should be ringing bells. I mean, look at, look at, look at, there's the EMA-8 right here, right? We closed below it, barely, right on it, closed, and considerable fall, right? Rally up. Rejection right off the where? EMA-8. Come on down. Uh, rally up to where? The EMA-8. Rejection off where? The EMA-8. Rally up. Rejection, rejection, rejection. Resistance. We finally tried to do it. There's one week, two weeks, three weeks, and that was it. And then back down below it. It's unlikely we just continue to play with that, right? This, the, the harder it is to retake this level, uh, the longer it takes, the harder that's going to be to, uh, you know, blast through again. Uh, go back in history. Let's go look real quick, right? Let's go look back here. And we'll show this on the five day as well. Let me put this on auto. Might help a little bit. Let's put it on log scale. And the Bollinger Bands can get crazy. Let's take it off log scale. We don't like that. Okay, so let's go back right here. So uh, let's let's note here. We fell down below the eight eight week EMA, right? This is going all the way back to 2018, right? We come back down. We rally up to the EMA eight. We barely close a couple weeks above it. We try to get one, come back down. Where do we rally up? One, two, three candles. Sound familiar? <laughs> all right. So the EMA eight is no joke, right? It's holding us down uh, in a big way. And note all these little rallies, right? And let's let's uh, let's pause for the five day Gaussian channel. And let's just go over and take a look see all right uh so let's put the gaussian channel on the five day and while we're at it let's just stay right here 2018 what why am i doing this well i'm going to show you in just a moment and you can put the puzzle pieces together if you'd like uh note that right here from green to red the gaussian channel right what happened well we were green we rallied up and as soon as we turned red uh we're kind of just shy of this median five day gaussian channel right? The median line right here. See this? Right as we turn red, we're rallying up into it. And then what happens? We don't see the median line on the Gaussian channel for quite some time, do we? Right? Green, rally up, red, start to come down and right to the bottom and just kind of float along that line, right? Let's fast forward. What do you think today looks like? If you're not familiar, let me introduce you to senior red uh we've this you can't make this stuff up like i said we went down to the bottom of the gossip channel just like 2018 we rallied up from green to red just like 20 i mean you can't even make that up right it's uh, just shy of the, the median gossip channel as it turns red we're going where are we doing up back now right i mean they're eerily similar Right. It's only one data point. Right. If we if this happened every time we went from green to red. Yeah. OK, we'd have a better case. But now this is only one time. But I mean, that's pretty. Pretty eerie, eerie, right? Green to red as we rally up just shy of the median five day Gaussian channel. OK, after after holding in a support for many weeks, right? Hold it for support for many weeks, rally up just shy of the median line, fall down and kind of fizzle out. Right? Are we going to do that again? I don't know. So far, we seem to be repeating pretty close. Right? Hold many weeks. Bottom of the Gaussian channel. Rally up. Just shy of the five-day Gaussian. Uh, median line. Fall down. We will see. Uh, we all know how 2018 played out. We'll see if we uh, mirror that. Uh, rhyme with it. Uh, don't do anything close to it. Right? Don't get too uh, convicted on any either side. You should always be looking at bull and bear side. You should be uh, like a referee, right? You're, you should be for neither team. You need to be looking at what the data is showing you and not fitting your or someone else's narrative. You need to be looking at both sides as much as possible. And then whoever has the most proof, that's what you go with. That's what you, you, all you have is the odds in crypto. So if your odds, if you have 10 facts towards the bears and two facts towards the bulls, but you want prices to go up, well, guess what? 
you're probably going to get wrecked. Uh, and you can go both ways on that, right? So don't think that one thing has to happen just because your brain says that or 47 you know, professionals on Twitter say that, right? That doesn't matter. The price shows you everything. The charts will show you uh, the news, so to speak. Okay, so uh, one more thing. Let me show you one more thing that probably help you uh, a little bit. Uh, I just throw this on Twitter. So maybe a cup, a handful, all three of you that follow me on Twitter might, might catch on to what I'm going to show you here. Okay, so let's look at the, let me take out the Bollinger Bands and bear with me a second. Might take a second to set up. Okay, so let's look at this. Uh, the day, you can look at it on the four hour, the daily, the three day. Uh, let's actually look at the three day if I got it here for just a second. I think it's the most clear and concise to look at. Okay, so let's look at this. See this move starting in November. What do we have here? This down and then this uptrend. What is that? Who cares, Chase? Uh, you're about to care. Hopefully, hopefully you should care. Uh, the downwards action from the top to the bottom, right? That is what's known as a little bit of flagpole, right? And then we have another line you can draw from the tops. Connect the tops, right? And then draw another line with the southern accent. You have to do the southern accent to get it right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so loosely, what does this look like? You might not know work here, right? This is pretty close to a textbook bear flag. And you say, Chase, come on, man. That's that's not that's not right. So I invite you. Remember what I said way back uh, a whole two and a half minutes ago about looking at both sides? Well, let's invert the chart here, Chuck, and see what we got here. Now does this look a little bit more... It looks a little more appetizing here, right? Uh, this looks like a pretty nice bull flag. And if this was shaping up on Bitcoin or your ever favorite shitcoin, uh, you might get a little bit excited, as you should, right? Uh, because guess what? When you break out, this is a pretty nice little bull flag, right? It looks like it. So when when could we break out? More times than not, these will break this way, right? Unfortunately, this is inverted, right? So this is likely the odds, right? Not, not Chase's ideas or opinions the odds of this bull flag breaking this way are greater than breaking down okay so if we look at that that is breaking toward look at the prices right the prices show less this way okay so where could we be headed if this plays out big asterisk if this plays out and when would this play out with conviction uh you'd have to close up in here right you'd have to close this way or actually down there right so Right, this is the actual chart, right? But just some people need to see it from a bullish perspective because that's where most people's narrative fits, right? Uh, only up mode is is the narrative that a lot of people like. So let's say this plays out, right? You want to kind of measure uh, on the way down right there, right? So that's how you do it. Yeah, do that. And wherever you break out, let's say it's I mean, a couple days from now. Let's just randomly put it right there, right? So where would that be? I'm glad you asked. Just kidding. It's not that low. You got to put it on log scale. <laughs> so I, I jumped the gun a little bit. <laughs> Hang on. Let's redo it. It's not going to minus 12. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's look at it again. You have to have it on log scale if you're going to do this, because otherwise it'll just print that big ass line. All right. So lesson right there. Even I, I meant to do that. Right. So let's let's try this again. Uh, a breakout right here. Right. Let's it, and it could be anywhere. Right. It's wherever your breakout is. And obviously this line is uh, not with conviction. Right. Just somewhere right in there loosely fit right you don't want any it's just a trend line you're just measuring the trend line so let's roughly save right there right these are rough estimates not exact don't get your stone and chisel okay but roughly around 20k what does that mean well yeah i think we all should be familiar with 20k right uh let's let's zoom out let's put it on auto uh there is 20k we're 2017 peak whoa is that blowing your brain out? <laughs> uh, now, I, I need to remind you that uh, here's our 2017 peak, right? And if you need me to uninvert it and flip your brain over, there you go. Uh, now, wh what's the issue with this? Well, Bitcoin's never gone back to its previous all-time high. So that would be the first time that's ever happened. But guess what? There's a first time for everything. And uh, you should be ready for that. Not, not the saying that it's happening or it's going to happen or it even likely to happen. But... If this bull flag slash bear flag starts to play out, uh, watch out. If we start breaking these, right? There's 31.7, right? There's your local local top resistance, aka support, right? And there's your fallout. Uh, and it wouldn't. It's not like it's going to go straight down. Although you know, whatever. Uh, it probably take months for this to play out, right? Just like it did back in 2018, 
right? Look at, uh, it took months, right? And you thought, you know, a lot of people thought it was going to break back up here. Um, but no, 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 red fall, red waterfall. And then that would be kind of the catalyst that we need to kind of kick off the, the whole shebang again. But, uh, you know, this doesn't, obviously doesn't have to play out. Just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, it's not a lot of people are talking about it, but I figured I'd show you. Um, I, I don't think that's the odds. I think the odds are maybe if, if, if we kind of break down a little bit here, we do something similar to this kind of, kind of roll over here a little bit, make a new low and then kind of reset a little bit, uh, more, or we could just continue putting these higher highs, uh, higher lows, excuse me, and then take out this, right? If we get above 48 K again and take out the 200 day, uh, the moving average, let me put it on here and let me show you what I'm, what I'm, what I'm spitting. Uh, right up here, right? That's where we rejected off the 200 day, right? So if we get above that, it's full bull mode. Don't don't let anyone shake you different. If you get above 48k and close above it, uh, we're going we're going way higher. Okay, so that would be the bull scenario, right? So if we get up in there, then Chase Uncle Chase said buy, and I, I would say I'll be buying right with your with your bud, and probably loading up in a bigger way than you. Uh, <laughs> But uh, we have a lot of roadblocks ahead of us. So I wanted to throw this big video out. A lot of information, jam-packed. Not much else. Hopefully you like that. Just tons of information. Okay, quote of the day. No matter what people tell you, words and ideas can change the world. By Senior Robin Williams. Cool dude. Car of the day. Car probably older than you. Uh, <laughs> according to my YouTube stats. Uh... It, that's likely. Uh, 1994 Bugatti EB110. The original, the OG. Uh, good luck finding one of those. Maybe on a golf course. <laughs> All right, I'll end it there. Hopefully you learned something. Let me know what you like best. What you uh, just what you like best. I don't care about your negativity. You can stuff that. You're right. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it and we'll keep you updated uh, when I want to. <laughs>